My god, was last episode one of the most episodes of all time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really long one. Hopefully this one isn't that long, but dang, did we get a lot accomplished, man. Between the freaking new party member and just taking out tons and tons and tons and tons of dudes. Uh, yeah, hopefully this one isn't as bad, but we shall see. I am just loving this game too much to put it down. Which is a weird problem to have. <laughs> uh, especially when I have to be having these episodes pretty short. But maybe we talk to the tech priest to start our game. In the cycles of the four, four ordained, uh, there lurks a flaw of worship. The tech priest's body convulses, pained, plaintive creaks of binary prayers from his vox the a mo jesus christ a moment's pass the signal becomes less and less clear as if something twisted or wrong is being added to it oh six experience wow thank you thank you doctor uh pascal studies the tech priest's face carefully his vox system moans in a tragic vibrato subject unidentified this is not the Blesses Amaranth. Stranger, I request your name. How do you know my mentor's motto? Examine the tech priest. Who are you, servant of the Omni Sire? How do you know him, Pascal? Try to take down the tech priest that has been crucified on the machine. Let's examine him. Uh, there are deep burns all over his flesh and the skin around his augments. Uh, augmentics are charred. Blasphemous spells have been carved into his sacred iron, formerly unholy litanies of scrap code. It is amazing how robust the tech priest's life support systems have proven to be in maintaining the spark of life in his grievously wounded body. Uh, I, I want to ask him these questions, but I really just want to get him off of there, bro. Uh, as soon as you touch the Text priest batter flesh, he shifts his gaze to you and says in a sudden clarity. Many sparks have gone out, but not all. The electric shepherds are alive. In the darkness, I heard their prayers. Find them, save them, recite the hymn of contact conduit restoration so that you may behold what is hidden. Very cryptic. Hate that. Thank you. And he dies. A blast of the motive force runs down the tech priest's body and his face contorts in a mocking grimace. Malformed binary code, repulsively jarring on his ears, pours out of his vox. Oh, repulsively jarring on the ears. Information achieved to the effect that the surrogate restoration hymn is the entrance password to the Electro Priest's hiding place. Pascal responds with the... Okay, I'm glad you understood any of that. Pascal responds with the dour rhythms of the containment area. I note with great sorrow that the cultist ritual has been partly successful. My tech brother has been tainted by corruption. He is in the grip of a systematical and unholy imitation of a machine spirit. Oh, okay. I request immediate activation of the Tensorum Tech Sorcium Protocol. I don't know what that means. <laughs> That's not the word. Uh uh oh that's not even is it systematical what's this shishkamatical um <laughs> uh, i want to help save him the possessed man responds with a burst of repulsive laughter every now and then a word or two of gothic finds its way into the binaric uh obscenities pouring out of his vox and what seemed to be the schematical's tentative foyers into a language that is alien to it. 
His body convulses, his joints twist in an unnatural, at unnatural angles with the sound of bursting steel couplings. As the possessed man thrashes about, his internal augments uh, emerge gradually through the hanging tatters of his flesh, as though an iron homunculus hidden inside the tech priest were trying to cast off the meat cocoon it no longer needed. What a fucking statement, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, here we go. 100% there. 100% there. Pascal's uh, metacandorite extends a thin drilling needle. Sacred uh, ag agument glistens on it. A code purification area is heard as the needle sinks into the possessed tech priest's skull and touches his neural augment. Augmentic. Forming an electric circle, a circuit with it. Extreme strain is visible on his face. Furious litanies pour out of his vox. Result failure requesting assistance. Uh, I could send a purifying charge of the medic the motive force into a possessed man's body. May the machine god heal you. Lore, recite a prayer from the emperor. Delver, uh, deliver us from the evil that has come from our souls from the abyss of the immaterium. Grant the emperor's peace to the text priest. Enough. He is beyond saving. No, we're gonna, we're gonna see if the machine god can heal you. Succeeded. Of course, I had a 100% success rate on all of those. I don't know why I was surprised. Undaunted, you grab one of the sur severed cables and press it into the tech priest's body, and a shock of formidable power shakes the p possessed man. Machine oil gushes out of his mouth. His vox hisses deafeningly as the flow of the motive force burns the corruption in his sacred iron. The overloaded... The overload destroys some of the circuit boards of his neural augmentic, resets his code, and erases the systematic shishkomatic <laughs> from existence. <laughs> Tech P's eyes roll up and he loses consciousness, crushed yet still alive and no longer in the thrall of corruption. Uh, with the utmost care, Pascal takes his body down from the me mechanism and lays it on the floor. His stirring litanies of gratitude to the Omnisaya echo through the hall. Well, we saved him. Rest, tech brother. We will come back for you when we have done our duty to the miraculous fusion reactor. Lord Captain, the Omnisaya commands a pious mind to strive toward uncovering the truth. Therefore, I will not step stop until I find my mentor and understand his connection to the servant of the machine god. To this servant of the machine god. I request the privilege of joining your retinue as a rightful companion. I can offer to fulfill the duties of the engine seer on your ship in exchange for the right to follow you and conduct my own investigation. Wow, you're just now fully joining our team. That's good to know. I, I was I was already super <laughs> betting on that. Okay. Well, what exactly do we go from here? What exactly do we go from here? Interesting. Now this force field is down, so I can go back over here. Oh, there's a door here. Shine in our new Seren Coronas. May its vitality nourish our moments. May its purity wash over our imperatives and end grounds. Yes, quite. Sure, sure. As far as I am aware, the monastery supplies power to several major hive cities on Rykan. Hidden somewhere in the depths of this building is a reactor of monstrous, unfathomable power. Yes. <laughs> Uh, tech priest, get in there, boy. Operation. Got some stuff. Successful. Cool. Now we're gonna data altar of sacred analysis. The cognigator, uh, is green 
green screen lights up as you approach it and displays the flashing message. Pilgrim, only the words of the first galvanic hymn will reveal to you the hidden, the gifts hidden behind the veil of knowledge. Now chant them for me. Let us sing to re re can can sizzle <laughs> to uh, the device's keyboard lights up, clearly expecting you to enter the rest of the verse. Uh, Pascal, can you do it? Pascal's vox lets out a noisy groan as he is clearing his throat, but then stops abruptly. After a brief pause, he averts his gaze and says in a raspy voice, It is not known to me. Only high-ranking servants at shrines of energetic prosperity are permitted to perform the first galvanic hymn. Well, fuck. I guess we'll go the mortar force that floweth through veins of copper. Oh, Abelard snorts and struggles to suppress an involuntary smile. Emperor, help us all. The esteemed Majos uh, has been caught out not knowing a prayer, and now he's floundering like a cadet in an exam. I never thought I'd see the day. Uh, I guess we go this one. Verse 2 calls to you, Prilgrim. Fill us... Let us fill souls with gratitude towards. Oh shit. Let's just not do this. Did I ever pick up a book about this? No. Prison diary, prison diary, prison diary. Crack slate. Fiery reckoning. Doesn't look like that. How to conduct yourself. Hmm, yes. Uh, I don't think we got anything that can do that. So that's a problem. I'll lay claim to the stars. Uh, let us check the journal for what to do next. Take the Lord Captain's place. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is just... Oh, that's the prologue. Oh, I'm an idiot. Gleam of the Final Dawn. Lord Captain knows the entrance to the priest's hiding location is located near the circular cognitor to be opened by a special prayer. Find the surviving priests. Okay. So I have to find the special prayer. Well, shit. Where the fuck would that be? I won't tolerate weakness. Can I talk to any of these things again? Doesn't look like it. Uh, hmm. Okay. Back here. Retracing our steps quite a bit. I don't think I missed any... It doesn't look like I missed any... Uh, well, what the hell is up with this? Why why is it gone? Uh, maybe just because I can't see? Oh shit, I don't want to be going this way anyway. Fuck that. We'll go back. Follow my lead! I forgot I don't want to be uh <laughs> going through that shit again. Oh, okay, perfect. He has something to say. Sergio Codicature, the electric hiding must be nearby. Oh, that, okay, well, shit. <laughs> I just had to walk a couple of steps forward. The machine altar accepts the contract circuits rest, oh, fuck me. <laughs> I couldn't read that when it was slide across the screen, but we opened a secret it's door. It's about time. Very cool. Here's all the other electro priests. Very cool. They have some goods. They have another door. We're going to be talking to you, I'm assuming. A shortish, muscular man wearing a scarlet cover colors of the Priest of Mars steps into your path. The wrinkles of his cheeks and forehead point to the pros uh, propensities for frequent outbursts of fierce anger. But right now, he is showing no signs of aggression. Glowing blue patterns of electric tattoos or electro electus <laughs> very cool uh show throughout his oddish bl 
bluish tint skin. The man's eye socket are dark and empty, yet he turns to face straight forward uh, towards you with no hesitation. He is sharp, screeching. He has a sharp, screeching voice, not unlike the bir a bird's calling. May the charge. Oh, I'm not going to do the voice. <laughs> May the charge of the Omnissiah's mercy persist in the hands of the faithful. May the motive forth persist in their batteries. Their blind heretic to battle. I am the rogue traitor. Declare the monastery is. I declare this monastery to be under my protection. Uh, let's just do make the sign, I guess. The emperor protects. The Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. A hallowed electrodynamic cinnabium receives you pilgrim i am dar impulse vi Ooh. a servant of the motor force and the praetor electroid of the sacred monastery bow bow I thought he was going to bow again. Pascal bows humbly before the man. A, th a trill of binary signals comes from his vox, to which the praetor responds with a solemn gesture of blessing. Pascal turns to you and says, The rank of uh, praetor electroid is a sign of high standing within the electro priest fraternity. To have been granted an audience is a great honor. You have the honor of hosting the rogue trader of the House von Valencius. I urge you to follow proper etiquette when interacting with the imminent bearer of the sacred warrant. Within these walls, worldly uh, titles, worldly titles are nothing before the motive force. Your deeds, however, speak far louder than titles, for your path here is sprayed with the blood of des desecrators. Okay, cool. Um, it was you, was it not? The Logis, Logis Abel came seeking and, uh, sure. I have no questions about... I have a few questions in place about the, uh, why do you call me a pilgrim? What happened here and how did you manage? Uh, you were the one, right? Sure. Yes, Tech Brother Abel arrived here to engage in the magnetic meditation that would help clarify his visions. Unfortunately, the heretic's uh, machinations prevented us from completing the ritual. The esteemed Logis volunteered his help in defending the monastery a contact with him was lost soon after. Uh, tell me about him. We did not speak much to each other. He preferred to devote his time to the solitary, solitary reflections of his chapel. The Omnissiah has given Tech Brother Abel a gift of great insight, which allows him to discern each individual facet of existence rather than the overall view. Uh, this makes his logic different from that of other people. His mind has always been able to combine facts and conclusions to harmonious uh, holes that were nothing short of beautiful. Many among my flock found his sermons poetic. What kind of visions was he receiving? Uh, the Omnissiah's revelations were, were in cryptic with great meticulousness which indicates the great import which indicates its great importance grasping it fully is beyond my ability but a single touch was enough to, for me to realize the enormity of the secret concealed within or more exactly the secret design which has which was how brother tech brother abel referred to it his mind had discerned in the world around him traces of some grand silence that we wish he wished to comprehend i have rescued him from the insurgents oh is that who was hanging there i hope the omnisaya's uh preserves tech brother abel's life 
that he may continue to comprehend the mysteries that he has tapped into. I have a few questions about this place and its people. Truth is like light, and blocking its path is criminal. He nods majestically. Who are you? The hardworking servants and dwellers of the Cenobium, Electro priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus, uh, the Corpus Corpus Cari, uh, did us a great honor by entrusting us to carry the sacred relic around, uh, which the hollowed thing was built. Cool, 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 cool. What precisely do you believe in? We have devoted ourselves to the worship of the aspect of the machine god, which is known as the motive force. It is the blessed divine spark that creates impetus in the universe. Impetus in the universe? The Omnisaya, uh, in his mercy, gave the world the gift of the motive force, and we follow the impulses in order to increase it, bring it lay people, and bring it to the lay people and protect it from unholy hands the relic that the monastery protects provides the entire planet with the blessed motive force holy shit and we unworthy though we are are glad to serve the ancient machine that dwells in this place wow uh tell me more about your relic it would be pointless to describe the miraculous fusion reactor only through beholding its ferocious power can one comprehend its blessed essence and fear the might of the Omnisaya. Its core was found 4,000 years ago and delivered to Rikud Minoris uh, by the holy warrior of faith, Locke Impulse. Uh, I, oh. Lock Impulse the first. Oh, I was so confused there. During one of his campaigns, uh, its sacred spark has not gone out for an instant. And the walls and power units of this Cenobium have been erected around the relic in order to protect it from arrogant lay people as well as protect it from the form from its formidable might. Pascal keeps a solemn silence, but a, the quick clicking of his uh, claw betrays his excitement at being so close to his sacred Archno... Archnotech? Archaeotech? You're not like the other members of the Adeptics Me Mechanicus I have met. Our faith imposes a duty of obedience on us. Every Electro Priest is given numerous Electus that combined, combine in a blessed Voltageist circuit, uh, allowing feeble flesh to withstand the might of the motive force. That is why our skin glows with its light. That is why our eyes boil and melt when we are ordained. Crazy. The Omnisire's tears is what we call this phenomenon. The drying, dying away of unworthy flesh. As we shun the layperson's primitive means of looking at the world, we gain the ability to sense the motive force around us and with our entire bodies. I understand everything. <laughs> what a statement. I am pleased to be the conductor of truth. Uh, why are you calling me Pilgrim? Only those lay people who desire to experience the motor force uh, are allowed to cross the monastery's threshold. All others are profane and criminals. Profaners and criminals. You do not belong to the fraternity of electro priests, but your intentions are good. And you were not here. You were not seeking the Omnisaya's wisdom. If you were not ex seeking the Omnisaya's wisdom, then it was the motive force itself that brought you here to find it. What happened here, and how did you manage to survive? When the heretics descended in droves upon the, uh, Cenobium... Cenobium? That sounds better. <laughs> we gave battle. But the unholy foes buried the Omnisaya's warriors under a mass of their bodies, thus extinguishing the de defender's spark of purity. 
It was then that I ordered my few surviving brethren to retreat into the monastery's secret chambers. Upon taking refuge there, we began to destroy the blasphemous intruders in certain serendipitous ways. That's not the right word. Anyway, alas, as fiery as my brethren's anger was, I had no right to permit them to die in honest combat. For the task of taking back our abode still lay ahead of us. I must commend the skill with which your secret chambers are concealed. You hear a tinge of wounded pride in Henrik's, or Heinrich's words. Uh, as if he's upset about failing to discover the Electro Priest's shelter. Your choice of tactics was wise as well. There's no point in losing more lives in a massacre that the cultists wrought. The leaders of the heretics fought her way into the dark, uh, wherein dwells the, the miraculous fusion reactor. She is trying to des uh, desecrate the rite of operation with her unholy litanies so that the relic may be corrupted and the world of Riker Minoris may perish in front in a fount of fire. But my brethren in their magnetic meditation are hampering her efforts by chanting access request prayers in unison, thereby suppressing the commands of the blasphemers enter. The Praetor Electro Electroid nods towards his entranced comrades. The holy place will be protected against sacrilegious practices, I swear it. Holy shit. In the monastery, I was attacked by people who look like Electro Priests. My enforcers and the govern governor's guards can help you reclaim the monastery. Uh, you made the right decision when you chose to avoid combat and save yourselves. A true person of faith would never have hidden and let the enemy take over their temple. Scoff. I was under no misconception that anything resembling a fight, fighting spirit could be expected from humble priests or say nothing. Uh, my enforcers and the governor's guards can help you reclaim the monastery. I cannot allow this. Lay people are forbidden from visiting the monastery. And only a select few are allowed to behold the Ark and the relic within. You and your retinue are pilgrims of a special status bestowed by the Emperor. However, should any soldier unblessed by the Omnissiah cross this monastery's threshold, I will deem them a heretic and have them put to death. Jesus, okay. Confirmed the presence of lay people on monastery grounds without a the Praetor Electroids blessing will be regarded as a sacrilegious violation of the holy right of operation. Heinrichs opens his mouth for a second to say something, but changes his mind and quietly clears his throat instead. Cassian nods thoughtlessly. I see. Yes, I see how Sarcelio follows the same rules when it comes to outsiders. Okay, uh, I was attacked by some tech priests or some electro priests. That is the lamentable. That is a lamentable mistake. We knew of no help that was on its way and we're not expecting to encounter any allies in the monastery's chambers. But I see that you are alive, and I mourn the senseless deaths of my brethren. Fair enough. I wonder if you would have uh, so touchingly mourned the Lord Captain's death, or if such sentiments would only have been awoken by the sound of a, our void ship delivering a punitive strike from orbit. Uh, you made the right decision to choose to avoid combat and save yourselves. Cool. Thank you, Pilgrim. It was not easy watching unholy intruders stampede through the chambers of my temple. We all envied our brother, envied our brethren who had fallen before the sacrilege began. I wish to see the unholy react or a holy reactor. 
cool. The Ark is hidden from pilgrim eyes, but considering the ex extraordinary extraordinary circumstances of your visit to the monastery, I grant you that right. The hall that leads to the high re reliquary has been barred by the enemy, but I will open a secret path for you. Enter the Ark and experience the motive force, pilgrim. We will pray to the security systems that they may refrain from punishing you for your intrusion. I must press on. Uh, requires dogmatic follower. Interesting. May the charge of the Omnisaya's grace persist in the batteries of the faithful. Okay. Cool. We got some goods here that I want to snag right before we move on. Machine right set. A set of sacred oils and uh, cognitums uh, that can appease the keeper of any technology provides an additional opportunity to call out a machine spirit and interact with the device. An expendable item. Interesting. And then some shit. All right. Down we go, fellas. Victory awaits. Into the bowels. All right. Anything nifty here? There's a door. A door that is fake. This way we go. It's the only way forward. Ah, cutscene. Excellent. Uh oh. Someone's at the door. That thing's fucking cool. Sub bitch. You're here to fuck your day. Oh, it's Aurora herself. The face of the woman who stands before you is hidden behind a grotesque barred mask. Yet the voice power pouring out beneath it belongs to someone else. It is the husky, somber ba base of a void wolf, a border of ships. How predictable your path is. How static. All the possible deaths you have skirted only to perish here in the fiery tempest that will mark the final dawn. The woman turns her mask to Pascal and gloats. You have arrived just in time, little cog. Uh, the s schematicals? Uh, use your regalia like a mask to subdue the reactor. Uh, Pascal's Voss rasps uh, musingly. A cog. I cannot comprehend why apostates try to insult me by comparing me to the sacred symbol of our faith. <laughs> it is irrational. His visor lights up like a crimson herald of bloodshed, and his drilling uh, mecharandite whirs viciously as it readies to strike. The sacred cog grinds all corruption to dust from the dust. I will build order. Silence, heretic. Your crazy preaching will not touch on my mind. Pascal announced my arrival. Uh, step away from the reactor and I might allow you to surrender. Uh, what a talented enemy. Can you do the governor's voice? Uh, step away and I might allow you to surrender. Surrender the gall of it. You are chained to the falsehood of a dead god's religion. Captives do not take captives. Oh, he's calling the emperor a dead god. Well, fuck you. The woman's voice breaks and shifts into a different pitch and uh, timber. A martyr's voice, young, fervent, and in pain. Time has all but run out. I can hear the first of the f future knocking, the fist of the future knocking on the door of the present. Choose quickly what you want to be when it walks in. A blind slave to what is gone, a faithful servant of what is to come, or a corpse. I would take some time to wrest from you the details of the future that the cult prophesizes. 
hopefully when we're done what's left of you will still be capable of coherent speech what you'll be is a living torch blazing for his glory argenta's voice burns with pure hatred and trembles with impatience to make the promise come true Ah, Cassia squints and looks away. Yellows, reds, violets, orange, blues, wild colors that scorch the eyes. But where uh, the motley masks end, nothing but colorless void remains. Uh, who are you? You're wanted. <laughs> Your people wanted my head. Why? You're trying to blow up the reactor? Interesting. I can go dogmatic or iconoclast. I'm going to go iconoclast, which ends up attacking, but I want to ask, who are you? Uh, my name is known to you. I'm Aurora, servant of the Rollin the Cruel and the spark of the final dawn that is destined to set Rikid Menorah ablaze. A great path for one who is born into the Imperium's bondage, but shunned her pedestrian... pedestrian I don't know. In favor for changes <laughs> promised by the edge of daybreak. Ah, uh, what? Whose servant are you? Is Urelon a demon or just another heretic? Edge of Daybreak, is this your unholy patron? So what is the final dawn? It is all your followers ever talk about. The servitude, uh, are you talking, what servitude are you talking about? What, uh, her dissertation? And why are you blinding people? I think that's enough heretical talk. Uh, is this guy a demon? Resounding laughter comes from behind the mask. You, your flippancy is so amusing. Why, you have no inkling of the chasm that separates us. He is a prophet who foresaw, foresaw a, uh, our impending doom and who grace, graciously bestowed upon us the right to choose a different path. He is a shard of ancient wisdom from a time before we were slaves to our bitter perdicitation. Road Trader, we can't we can't wait to close this creature. I can't wait to close this creature's mouth with a seal of death. Are you saving this glorious deed for yourself? You know what? You're fucking right. I think that's enough heretical talk. Let's fucking kill her. Conversations about truth always frighten ignorant minds. Enough, I will rid Rigan Minoris of your tyranny. Woman's voice becomes thin and brittle like that of an innocent child. Execute them in the name of the edge of the daybreak. Electro priests rip their hands off the command panels, rending their flesh the stakes of pure... Uh, on the stakes that pierce them as their uh, systematically controlled bodies are imbued with the motive force radiance all the unfortunates can do is scream in horror and plead for a swift death aurora brings uh, begins muttering an unholy litany in broken gothic willpower test succeed you cannot make out her blasphemous words but the name of the he heretic keeps repeating the edge of daybreak digs into your hearing like a blade into defenseless flesh its sound is almost physically painful it spawns strange and impossible phenomenons or phantoms in your mind however you manage to muster your strength and banish it from your mind this is just a boss battle okay What am I looking at here? Epic. 
I will skip. Take a knee and <laughs> bow before me. Surrender okay. to the dark powers. Okay, it seems that she is impervious. And we have a lot of people everywhere, it seems. So. I hope Cassie is first. No, she's way last. Okay. Um, I think we're going to stick to one side here. I think we're going to go for these guys over here. So let's Abelard get over here. Heinrichs get over here. And Cassia get over here. Wilbur. I'll put you in cover. Uh, Pascal will put you in cover. And an Argenta, you can get up here. And get a little closer there. But I think that's all we can do in terms of battle start. Pascal, my man. Let us first buff the crew. Running by Derek Override. Okay. And then let's... I guess we can shoot this guy. 80%. 42. Yeah, I guess we can get him down a little bit. And then from there... 12, 12, 25. You're probably the biggest threat in this little area besides the Electro Priest. I think that's good for his Death turn. To -believers. You don't frighten me. Death to the weak. Damn, he's got a shot still, bro. Okay. Wilbur. Uh, can we do both move, move, move and... Can we do that? Suits my purposes. We give that to Argenta. She can move in here. End that. And then we can give her a Already turn. Done. Oh, beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Time to die, everyone. Eradicated. It fucked. Losers. Doubt is I'll for take the, the momentum. And turn there. And that's just a free action, bro. That's crazy. I guess I can give her... I should have given her voice of command first. I should have given her take aim first. Oh, okay. I was at the top of the screen. Argenta's actually next. So maybe we do buff her. Nothing I can't do. Maybe we just buff the absolute shit out of her. And then that's fine. Argenta once again. Faith Take a shot. Deeds is worthless. Excellent. Uh, I have two left here. I can revel in slaughter. Buff her up. Concentrated fire. No, I will... Run and gun. And I'll move just right here. The enemies of the Emperor oh, he's gonna attack. Okay, dodge. Awesome. And then... Why don't I have... I ran, I ran and gun. Why didn't I... Weird that I can't attack again. This is unacceptable. Is it because I had this on on here first? I should have switched guns beforehand, I guess, huh? Okay. Oh well. Crush the feeble. They'll come in. Cassia. I guess we can kind of. Well, let's start heading this way. 
Let's actually give Argenta another go. Do not go, ask. Okay, maybe not. Is it because we already used it on her? I if think so. Only that were possible. So let's give that I'm to not Wilbur. To being ordered around. Cool, and then Wilbur can take a shot here. Thirteen, awesome. And then I guess we voice the commander. Suits my purposes. Now we can use her gaze to kill him. I can actually kill Me. him, maybe. Try to yeah. with grace at least. Okay, cool. I can grant someone movement points. Interesting. Uh, I could also just buff someone. Let's buff Abelard here. I think that's good. Heinrich? I still have yet... I totally forgot to give you that fucking... other gun. Uh, we're gonna go here. And we're just gonna do a little shoot shoot. Everyone, step aside. And then I guess we can charge, actually. I won't oh, he's that. too close. I, I can kill him, though. Unless he just parries me, which is awesome. Uh, buff myself? Or buff Agenta? Hmm. Or buff Cassia, since she's already low on health. Give her a little more... Just from... Hey, That's not cool. That's also not cool, you fuck. Down easy. Uh, since we can't get to him, let's go here and then let's do the charge. My place is at the fall. Epic. Now let's Indeed. do some brace for impact. We can do some endure. For some more temp HP. I think that's good there. Chaos guides me. I serve the ruinous powers! Damage. Okay, we're not taking too much damage. Eee, okay. That's scary. I didn't know he had lightning. Okay, no damage there. My faith shields me! Pascal might be able to heal Cassia here. I think from right here. And then heal her. That'd be pretty good. And then... Do I have line of sight on anyone? Oops, didn't mean to click that. I have line of sight on this guy over here. Oh, and he's actually... He has the rejected flesh, doesn't he? Or whatever. I can use this on him and really fuck it up. Oh, no. I can do it on him. Fuck it. Wow. Oh, that lowered his max HP. Got it. Okay. Chaos I thought it healed him. Me. I was so confused there for a second. The road takes Killed his own man. Death not Good one. Us. Again, killed his own man. Good one. Wilbur, let's get you over here and get you a shot downtown, I think. Or actually... Yeah, no. Tons of people have shots on that guy. Let's get you getting some damage over here. Let's give Argenta a, a thing here. She could just blast the fucking man. Very cool. Um. Huh. What should I do now? Should I buff? I guess I'll Since buff our gentle with this. Another take aim. Kill her. Thank you. Now. I probably should have moved to do that. Uh, let's 
Get this. And then let's move. Get some cover. We can give Wilbur another go. And we can give another shot downtown here. Excellent. That's good. Do we want to move anyone? I think we give this to Abelard. He can get in as far as he can. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. And I think she's good. Heinrich. Let's move you up. See if we can't rush in and kill this man. Doesn't seem like it. Can we rush into this group here? I don't think so. Let's do that. We'll charge in. Do a pistol shot. Let's see to it. <laughs> it's so weak. It's so weak. I can taunt him. I can for endure for some glory. extra temp HP. That's good. Abelard, let's get you in here. Oh, let's actually go here and then charge. No suitable path. Is this blocking my path? Interesting. Uh, I could go here and then shotgun blast him, maybe. 12%. What is it over here? 30%. That works. Heyo, killed him. And then let's move back here. And he's in the way for that. So let's just end our turn here. Oh, what the fuck? I won't go okay, down we're good. Easy. Okay, another dodge, we're good. Okay. Jesus Christ, this fucking thing. 145 damage. Or 145 fucking... Health. Eye of Oblivion. Oh, Cassio is putting that on him. Natural armor. Very cool. And an exploit from Pascal. He has weapons. He has a melee attack. And he has a bite. Okay. So he is a melee boy. Which means we're probably fine for the time being if we keep moving. Let's move him in. Oh, I got his teeth. <laughs> oh, God. I had to sneeze. Um... I can't really seem to get anywhere with him, or, or I mean, see anybody to debuff. So I think that's good. He's got no line of sight on anyone. So we're just gonna end it there. Death to the weak. Chaos guides me. Help me, Lord Captain. Okay, they're starting to take some damage. I should have actually used Pascal to heal Argenta there. Uh, let's move here. Okay, I've got a couple shots on a couple people. I'll have those two, which will be one shot. And then I do have a shot on this big fucker. But I think I will take the shot on this guy here. You didn't stand a okay, shot. cool. Um, let us move our Genta in, or let's move Cassius, Cassia in, get her out of harm's way here, and then does she have line of sight on this big massive fucker? I think he's out of our range here. Uh, I will use... Mm, I actually don't think I want to do that on anyone right now. 
Unless I can give it to her. She can't use this. Okay, cool. Uh, do you have line of sight on this guy? You fucking do. Look at that. If fucking send it. You fucked, asshole. That did a fuck ton of damage. Yeah, 95 down already. God damn. Okay. We'll end our turn there. Argenta, let's move you up here. Do you have line of sight of anyone? No. You have line of sight on anyone over here? That's odd. Let's move you up here then. Guided by faith. And then I will hold off. Oh, I do have line of sight on this guy. As 47. The commands, I act. I'll take that. Half his health, that's not bad. I think that's fine for now. Now Cassia has... I'm not more accustomed attacks. To being around. Oh my god, 35. And then we can give that to I Wilbur. A navigator, not a and then Wilbur can take a shot down town here. Of take care of him. Lost. And then I will put Nothing take aim on I her again. Do. And then I think I'll give this to Pascal. Isn't this a job for the serfs? To move up here a bit. Oh, he's gonna have a couple people in line of sight on him. Back here? Back here? Oops, I didn't mean to double click that, but that seems fine. I just want him closer to Cassia or Argenta to heal her up. We're going to call that there. Heinrich's going to get a move on. We'll give him half cover here. I'll put here. my psychic abilities to use. Uh, can we get to this man? I don't think so. Uh, we're just gonna take a pot shot at Let's him. Let's see to it. I mean, he's hitting those shots. Let's be real. He's hitting his fucking shots. So I'm not... You know, I'm not pissed about the little damage. Let's move up Follow with Avalard. Uh, he actually has that shotgun. Does the shotgun have range? It does. It will be done. Hey oh get fucked. Move back there. Can we move in with this? I think we should. Get right up in the Electro Priest's grill here. Okay, didn't hit shit. Perry, excellent. Pascal, let's get you up here and... Oh, why can't I use it? My oh no. Are not that universal. Once per combat. Fuck. Uh, let's just use a med kit on her. No, I don't want to waste a med kit. Okay, well, we're just going to move up and... We're going to be a little more careful with her now. Do you have line of sight on anyone? You do not seem to have line of sight on anyone. So you're good. I'll just end this turn the ruinous powers. Three damage, not Out bad. My way. You're good. Okay. First of all, do we have line of sight on him? We do not. Who do we have on line of sight over here? 58%, 95%. Okay, so we're going to be taking a pot shot of him. Well, not a pot shot. We're going to be taking a shot of him. That did considerable damage. We are going to give Cassia the extra turn. She is going to... Dig into this motherfucker. God damn. Has he even had a fucking turn? Like, I feel like he hasn't moved from that spot. 
and he's almost fucking dead. Which, hey, fine with me. <laughs> uh, can I? Oh, he's way too far. Okay, this has a pretty limited range here. So we're good. I think we're just gonna end it there. Move up here. God yeah. Emperor, move through me. The and then I've got shots. Heart. I've got a shot over here. I'll 95, I'll take that. Oh, nice crit. Kills him. Uh, I could run and gun. Oh, I didn't mean to. Okay, if I go here and then I go shotgun. Oh, I can't do it. Damn it. Yeah, son of a bitch. If I go here, do I have shots on anyone else? I do not. Well, between, between Heinrich and Abelard, I think they can take care of him. I think I'm going to start heading my way back here. And I might go Rejoicing this way, actually, battle. to get some cover. Still, I don't have line of sight on anyone. Cassia, you are going to finally destroy this I'm thing. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. As duty demands. Get fucked. And then you're going to give that Me? to Wilbur? If you insist, Lord Captain. And then Wilbur is going to take a 50-50 shot at this. And he chance. fucking nails it. Oh, let's go, baby. I think that's good for both of those. Heinrich, we're going to go right here. We're going to charge in. I need a foothold. Epic. And then we can also swing on him. To it. I think that's good. Avalard, you're gonna get right here and you're gonna swing on him as well. A tactically sound and approach. Kill him. One fewer target. Epic. Can we go around? Oh, we can go around the back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they're so fucked. Oh, they are so fucking boned. Rounds it to the reactor explodes too. Ah, uh, has that been on the screen the entire fucking time? Son of a bitch. Has that actually been on screen this entire time? Because that seems to be a motherfucking problem. Maybe I should have split my gang up. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I think this was a huge waste of time. That is so unfortunate. Uh, let's charge in, I guess. Yeah, I think we were supposed to... Maybe we were supposed to kill all the Electro Priests. And that stops the countdown. We kind of... We kind of did fuck ourselves. Yeah, rounds until the reactor exploded. One. Well, that is quite unfortunate, and I am retarded. And I own that. I'll take that. Wilbur, you got any line of sight on anyone? No. Epic. My tactics are flawless. Well, I think I done derped, guys. Yeah, I think we're pretty fucking screwed here. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! Let's, uh... Let the I reactor explode, I guess. Tactics. Whoops. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. I can get At this guy. 
I will do like you. <laughs> Reduce to dust. Okay. Oh, killing the tech, killing the electro priest sabotages the. Oh. Okay, fuck, ignore everything then. Advancing. How far do these grenades go? Not very. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, okay. Chaos guys. I took care of this one. Yikes. Wilbur. Please tell me you got eyes on somebody. Nope. Epic. Uh, move, move, move. I can put on Pascal, I guess. And then he can move up. Fury algorithm. I immediately gave up and fucked up. Suits my purposes. Okay, how does this grenade fare now? Damn it. Just barely outside, eh? Yeah. Guided by faith. Argenta just run. Doubt or run and gun. Weak. Just to get up with everyone. Cassia. Uh, I think we'll give that to Pascal. Maybe Pascal can move in and Explore to sell one route. get Forward. that grenade off. Maybe she can still reach him. No, I'm she can't. Afraid not. Okay. I think this was a misplay. A we'll do that. We can run oh, our ass for all the yeah. way over here. Yeah, these two fucking guys really fuck us. Abelard, how far can you get? You can get there. Can you get to him? Oh Metro my god, you can. Yeah. Abelard, you beautiful bitch, can you do it? Ah. I should have fucking reckless attacked. Oh, uh, actually, we'll this is perfect. The stars no, we're doing my this. Place is at the fall. Indeed. Reduced to dust. Okay. We move more. Holy shit, we might actually do this, ladies and gentlemen. No fucking shot. I it guess I'll done. do this. And Victory then is imminent. Okay, good. Good that I, I did that. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, Heinrich's fine. Focus. Okay, here. And then, and then we, and then we keep one, but we debuff the shit out of them, right? We do that. We do that. We do this. Okay, okay, okay. Can I hit him with this? No. I do this. Request approved. And then I do this. He doesn't have enough for the finest hour. Wilbur. And you get eyes on him. Oh, you fucking can. Oh, Wilbur, you beautiful bitch. Not a problem. Let's fucking go, dude. Okay, dude. Now we just got this chaos spawn to deal with. And that's it. And we are split up like fuck. Heinrich's gotta fucking have this on lock, dude. I'm sorry, we, we're getting there. But Jesus Christ, Argenta move up. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Move up again. 
he get eyes on him? Do you have eyes on him? No, he's behind all this bullshit. Okay. We're gonna move Cassia. Cassia's gonna use this on... Well, she can only really use I it on Wilbur. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Okay, I can come down from there. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Heinrich? It's your time to shine, buddy. You've really got to fucking do this. So we kind of don't want that. We kind of want to buff ourselves. Let's see to it. Buff ourselves up as much as we can. Naturally. And then maybe, ooh, 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 hold on, hold on. Listen to this, listen to this. We back off, right? We charge in. The Emperor. We get that extra side. damage there. <laughs> Fuck, I'm an idiot. We didn't have enough to do another action. Damn, that was the plan. Uh, we're gonna death wish is mine to do grant. our fucking bullshit here. Cleave. Uh, yeah, we'll do the psychic one. That'll do 11 to 14. How much does a regular one do? 10 to 13. Let's see. To Better. It. Holy terror! Smite your enemies. We're gonna be charging this up in no fucking time, though. But okay. Guess that's all he's got. Uh, Abelard, get as close in as you fucking duty. can, bro. Damn, these guys can fucking move. Uh, At your oh, I can hit him. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's real big. Okay, cool. I probably could have hit him with the charge. Have I been looking? Okay, only two, only two. Yeah, I think we got this. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything to help. I even, I can't even buff them from here. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. That's fine, though. Uh, Wilbur. Let's see how they respond to this. Let's just get as far as we can. We'll actually give this pesky. Oh, we can't. Uh, we'll give it to Absolutely our gentleman. Not. Okay. We will give it to. I don't have time for this. <laughs> we will fucking do absolutely nothing, and we will like it. Uh, Argenta, get in I there. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Then we're gonna run and gun. Get in there a little bit more. Oh, is that a fucking dead end? Am I retarded? God, damn it. Cool, 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 cool. Step aside. Let's give the that. Navigator is coming. Give if that to Wilbur. Wilbur, you can move up. We're just trying to get. Well, maybe we should stay here in case she pops off after we kill this thing. I actually need I'll to reload. Pause. Son of a bitch. That's the first time ever, I think, I've had to reload. Uh, let's actually. Do not dare ask. <laughs> Lamau! Can't do shit. Okay. Vengeance will be swift. Heinrich's actually fine. We're gonna do the same thing of backing off to charge in. Everyone, step aside. To then do big, big attack. We won't do the psychic attack anymore because now it is. Let's see to it. Uh, getting a little close there. Oh, I didn't realize that actually does it too. Yikes. Veil degradation is up there. It's one away. Avalard, you got the same fucking skill set here. Tried and tested. We're gonna run away, we're gonna try ones. we're gonna go in. Uh I have enough it for a reckless attack. At your beck and call. One fewer target. Holy shit. 
I'm so retarded for not seeing that up at the top of the screen. I cannot believe we pulled that off. Enough. Now an aged, rattled voice speaks from you, to you from beyond the bloodstained mask. You are powerless to halt the approach of what is to come. I see a crimson trail leading humanity to its doom. What is that? Citatrix Maldation? Malediction? Um, a huge warp storm stretching across the galaxy, the result of a catastrophic rift in real space. Interesting. I see the glow of the final dawn and the means existence has made its choice. And that means existence has made its choice. A dagger flashes in Aurora's hand. She drives it into the control panel with all her strength. Now you will see it too. Okay, she killed herself. A blinding voltage arc bursts forth from the broken control panel and strikes at Aurora's uncanny mask. Its metal heats up, slow, smoke billows through the bars, and with a howl, the cultist collapses. Cool, return to the landing area. <laughs> the light is gone. What was that it? The final dawn? But why is it so different from what our teacher promised? Aurora shakes her head blindly. Her voice is now the voice of an old, ordinary middle-aged woman frightened and in pain. You will pay for this. You will, you. The woman's body goes limp and collapses on the floor. Her iron mask hits the ground with a dull thud. Gained experience, 37. Pasco examines the course with content, then concludes dryly, dryly, confirming perjugation and termination. Heinrich grimaces in disgust. The heretic took her secrets with her. Pity. The motley hues have rejected her, leaving only a grayish-green thread, the noose that the heretic put around her own neck. I have seen this many times before. No one can escape fear itself. Hey, man, let me loot her, too. What the fuck, bro? Heinrich approaches Aurora's body and leans over it. A minute, please, Wilbur. I need more information than a minute. I need... I'll, I'll, I need no more than a minute. I'm an idiot. I don't know where information came from. Uh, inspect the control panels damaged. We got a 100% on that. The Cognitor is probably well beyond repair, but your attention is drawn away from the sacred machine and towards the dagger sticking out of the control panel. On closer inspection, it turns out to be a lavishly decorated handguard of a sword whose blade has been pried from it. Its pommel is decorated with a strange adornment resembling an eye covered by a, scar a scaled lid. What remains of the blade has a blue sheen to it, the same tint as Conrad's weapon during the mutiny on your void ship. Interesting. This is no human-made object. It was grown from wraith bone, a material f favored by the Eldari. Eldari, ancient, highly advanced alien race that once dominated the galaxy. Wraith bone, uh, an Eldari uh, material composed of crystallized psychic energy used to, uh, in the creation of everything from art pieces to craftswork. Toss the shard into the depths of the reactor. Uh, as you lean over the shard, you suddenly hear a multitude of voices. Uh, they blend together and individual words are distorted as though they are mocking your attempts to grasp their meaning. The nagging whisper is like the burning red scratch of an unholy claw upon your mind. Toss it into the depths of the reactor. Yeah. As you touch the handguard, an otherworldly cold envelops your hand only for a mere instant as 
in the very next second, you send a corrupted weapon flying into the shining abyss. A terrible wail of seven, several dubbed voices pierces your mind for a, a moment, only to turn into a deafening shriek and break off as a clap of electricity is somewhere heard somewhere beneath your feet. What was that? Heinrich appears behind you. <laughs> Did you think it a good idea to throw something into the reactor? I'd refrain from such experiments if I were you. Rogue trader, on behalf of the Holy Ordus, uh, I thank you for your cooperation in releasing and releasing you from requisition. From this moment on, I am at your service. I am ready to come aboard your ship and head to footfall as soon as you deem it possible. That is, if you do not have other business in the system, in which case I am prepared to assist you in a prompt and its prompt resolution. Remove her mask. Iron Helmet is firmly attached to her heretic's flesh. Her face is impossible to make out in the darkness behind the bars of the mask. And after peering at it, for a, while, a little while longer than necessary, you wonder if for a moment you saw something move. Let us finish cleansing the monastery, Pascal. Executing, let the Omnisaya give motive, given motive force flow and all objects in its path be eradicated in dialogue. What you doing, boy? What are you doing, in fact? Okay. <laughs> okay, we leveled up clearly. Jesus Christ, I could imagine. I couldn't imagine not leveling up, you know what I mean? But we also have tons of shit to loot. Blasphemous prism. A glass prism crafted by the cultists of the final dawn. It belonged to their leader, Aurora. If you look through it long enough, your vision begins to deceive your mind. Showing what could be instead of what is. That's just a... A, a trophy? Heretic trophies cargo? Interesting. Avenger gauntlets. All attacks of opportunity deal an additional agility bonus damage. Interesting. Okay, let's do some motherfucking looting. Uh, over here. I'll lay claim to is the next. Stars. Okay. Okay. I just love their heads and bits everywhere, dude. Fuck them. They've got a ton of gear on them. Cool. A lot of, a lot of stuff I'm hoping to get rid of soon. Okay. I won't tolerate weakness. That seems to be everything. That door doesn't seem to be anything. Is am I missing anything on the map? No. So now. It is time to level up. Let us level up. Uh, focus. Perception and ballistic seal equal to the officer's resolve. These bonus stack. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's all right. Personal oversight. When the officer takes, targets an ally with an action, their ally's resolve is increased by one until the Okay, that's good. Is there anything else? It could take the persuasion. I keep wanting to take the persuasion. I won't lie to you. I want the fucking persu- Oh, this is advanced persuasion. We already took basic persuasion. Yeah, fuck it. We can reroll. Uh, commerce is 77. 82. Commerce is ability to make profitable bargains so that's bargaining this is to manipulate others i think we'll go this it's good abelard 
easy target was good. No. Critical damage. Never mind. Um. Perfect timing. All allies affected by brace of impact gain 30% cover. Dis um. That's pretty good. I think I'll take that just because I usually put brace for impact on Abelard, which means that scatter would make him have less. Uh, his is 70. We're going to we're going to up that as well. Very good. Argenta. Is there anything that I really wanted? Roblin Slaughter can now be used two, after two kills instead of three. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty fucking good. And then we get one more skill. All these basics. Hmm. Nimble's just movement, right? Or uh, dodge? What's her dodge at? Shit. What did we pick here? Swift slaughter. Okay, gotta remember Swift slaughter. What's her dodge? Dodge is 95%. That would be insane to get that. Up to a hundred percent. Uh, we did swift slaughter and we're going to do nimble. Nimble. Look at that. One Oh five, bro. Insane. And that five is from the armor she's wearing. Okay. Heinrich blade fury. Each use of slash increases damage dealt by slash by one until the end of combat. That's good. I think I'll get that. Athletics. Version. Demolition. Medicaid. I guess we go Xenolore. That'd be good. Pascal. Oh, Pascal is our Xenolord guy, isn't he? Uh, oh, no, 55. Tide of Excellence. Oh, fresh targets. Good. More damage to the enemy when it full wounds. I like that one. Perception. We should go Ballistic Skill. And then Cassia. We want to go. What is heroism? Whenever a heroic attack is used in combat by any character, the officer's next attack will cost zero AP. Awesome. Actually, uh, commerce, persuasion, version. I guess we go lore warp. Because now that we don't have a Dara on our squad, we want to pump someone else into that, maybe? Okay. Well, I'm definitely calling it there. We're not doing anything forward. But now we get to go back to the ship, it seems, and get our shit together. Oh my god, I cannot... Honestly, another huge episode. I cannot believe I pulled that off. For real, though? Holy shit. When I saw that counter at two, I was just like, we're screwed. There's nothing we can do. I don't know why it didn't come to my mind that I could, uh, that I didn't see that, that I was on a timer. I had no idea. And then also killing the priests extended the timer that I didn't see. And holy shit. It just, what a beautiful cacophony of bullshit that just came to a crescendo of just fucking achievement, bro. Oh, hopefully the next episode is a little shorter because man, these fucking, these episodes go hard and they, they hurt my brain, dude. Oh, they hurt my brain. Hurts my throat from talking all this time, but holy shit. I'll see you in the next one.